Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? community respects the Ten Commandments, man. I, I, I'd be hard pressed to find a Christian that knows the Ten Commandments that they claim to stand on. Don't you know that there's over 600 laws in the Bible? There's, a, there's over 600 laws that the God, of the, Bosa, the, the God of the Bible told his children that they need to follow and obey, man. The Christian church has whittled that down to just ten. They, said they, they just want to focus on what they call the good ten. Am I the only one that heard that? Christians will say, yeah, man, I'll try to find, just keep to the good ten, you know what I mean, and, and everything's fine, man. But we've been led by leaders that have caused us to, uh, that have led us astray, man, and caused us to err, man. And as a result of it, we're destroyed, man. We're running around thinking that we're doing something in Christianity, when, when Christianity teaches you to sin against the God of the Bible, man. And I'll prove it to you. Let me get the book of Leviticus, uh, Salaki, the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 1. We're going to go ahead and get into the Ten Commandments and see how many of these commandments actually get kept by the Christian church. Since it's the politicians that's trying to utilize these Ten Commandments to try to build up their base and trying to garner votes from blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans and so-called Christians, we're going to see if the politicians even believe in the Ten Commandments, man. You got that? Go ahead, read. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, These are the words of the Most High, man. The Most High, I'm glad they got into it earlier. The Most High spoke to Moses up on that mountain, man. And, and, and he wrote the, these, these laws in these tablets, man. Let's see what he said. Go ahead. Verse 2. I am the Lord thy God. He is what? I am the Lord thy God. He said, I am the Lord thy God. Don't you know that the Most High understands that the people around him that the people around his people, the other nations, the heathens, you understand? They worship other gods, man. They have a propensity to worship creatures and, 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 and things that the Most High created rather than the Most High. That's why they worship the sun and the moon, you understand? That's why they worship the cow. That's why they worship dogs. That's why they worship beetles. The other nations worship Saturn and Mars. The other nations worship other gods. And the Most High reminded us that I am the Lord thy God. Don't get it twisted. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Our God brought us out of the land of Egypt, man. We're running around thinking that we Africans and thinking that we Egyptians when the God of the Bible hated the Egyptians, man. And he proved his hatred to the Egyptians when he slaughtered them for their enslavement of the Israelites, man. God don't love everybody. We out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. Listen, man, he, he delivered us out of the house of bondage, man. Sometimes our God got to remind us how good he's been to us, man. He's got to remind us of his power, man, because we soon forget. We soon forget what happens when, 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 when we disobey God. We forget what happens when we obey him, man. It's because the children of Israel wanted to worship him, but the slave master wouldn't allow us to worship our God. He wouldn't allow us to practice our feast days and our holy days. He, he, he found out we wanted to keep our, our customs and keep our culture, and he increased the, the hardship on us. He, he, he made it harder to work with the bricks and the masonry. You understand? He increased the, 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 the burden, man. Free. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. This is the first commandment. If you were looking at, if you were to look at that damn, uh, uh, that, that poster in, in Louisiana's public school classrooms, this will be number one. Read that again. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, man. So how the hell can we sit here in America, sit here where where America worships all kinds of gods, man? 
Every holiday that's celebrated in America is the worship of some pagan god, man. Take Christmas, for example. Christmas is some pagan custom called Saturnalia, man. It's about the worship of Saturn, all because of some, it's about the shortest day of the year, some goofy custom and tradition that does nothing to benefit black people, man. They, they, they worship, they, they worship, uh, they practice Saturnalia on December 25th, man. And then what does the Christian church will turn around and do? They turn around and, and, and do the same thing. They participate in the same pagan custom, the same pagan tradition, when the first commandment says, thou art to have no other gods, man. The second, the second one says that we ain't supposed to make any idols to them, man. We're not supposed to worship idols. We sit here in America where we, we must worship an idol, man. The Christmas time, got a whole damn Christmas tree up in the house. We decorating it like it's special. Then putting gifts up under it, like, like, like making a sacrifice to it, man. These are pagan traditions, man. These are the, 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 the worship of gods that other nations must, must do. The other nations must worship other gods, man. And then the worship idols, man. God damn, America, you know this week, America's going to demand that we all worship an idol. Anybody know, know what idol we got to worship in America next week? Round about the third or the fifth? Third? That red, white, and blue flag is an idol, man, that gets worshipped in America. It's the second commandment. You understand? We can't be worshiping idols, man. But on the 4th of July, when that Star Spangled Banner gets to playing, you better stand at attention, put your hand on your heart, take that hat off your head, and show some respect, man. What about showing respect to the God of Israel, man? What about showing some respect to the God of the Bible, man? Those are just two of the commandments, man. We could get into all eight of them if we had time, but we don't, man. We're going to go ahead and let the next speaker get up here, man. We're the Israelite school. Yeah, Babylon is falling in the 